Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into the DeYoungster Studio, where we bring guided art activities to you at home. My name is Jill McLinn and I'm a senior teaching artist at the Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco. Today, we're going to use found materials to put on a yard show with a social message for your community. A yard show is an art show that is displayed in your front yard or somewhere outside that's visible to the public. Here's a picture from the Souls Grown Deep Foundation of the artist Joe Minter. Born in Alabama in 1943, he went to school through the sixth grade and then worked many difficult labor jobs before realizing his calling of becoming an artist. He created the yard show entitled The African Village in America to tell the history of the African people in this country for 400 years. This is one of the many sculptures from the project. This piece shows one of two marches over the Pettus Bridge led by Martin Luther King Jr. alongside him John Lewis and many others. This march culminated in the passing of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. The title of the piece is The Price to Vote, The Price to be Human. I wonder if he got the idea of building the bridge first, then collected the materials to build it or if the materials that he collected led him to the idea to build the bridge and tell the story of the march over the Pettus Bridge to Montgomery. Let's take a look at this sculpture by Joe Minter from our collection at the de Young Museum. It's called Camel at the Watering Hole. What objects can you recognize in this piece? How might they be attached? What about this sculpture looks like a camel? Now, Let's start gathering materials for our own sculptures. What types of materials can you gather from around your home and neighborhood? What materials catch your interest? Hi, today we're gonna to build something for our yard show using some of these materials that I've found around in my neighborhood. Here I have a street cone, which makes a nice stable base for my sculpture. Then I chose a couple of taller items to make a tall figure that goes structurally. And then I found some more interesting things like this clock. Here are some fasteners that we could use. We have wire, wire cutters, tape, glue, maybe some paint markers. Now think about the materials that you've collected. What is the best object or material for the base? How will you attach the different parts? How will you emphasize your message within the artwork? To begin, I'm making a face for my sculpture using objects that I've collected and hot glue to attach them. On a flat circle of plexiglass, I use bottle caps for the eyes, a reflector for the nose, and a mouth cut out from a yogurt lid. Please, Ask an adult before using hot glue. What are you thinking a lot about today? How has this historic time affected you in your life? What message do you want to share with your community? I think I will build a sculpture of a person that's casting their vote. They will hold a sign that says, remember to vote. I'm building a life-size human sculpture. I'll use this cone as the base and these two poles for the body. The third pull will go through like this and make an arm to hold my sign. Now I'm attaching a hanger to support the weight of the face. I'm using wire at first and then duct tape to secure the parts. Here's a piece of bamboo for the other arm. And now for the face. Oh no, it's top heavy. I'll use another bamboo pole to help hold up the face, quick. Okay, steady now as I attach the clock pointing to Tuesday. Here, why don't you hold this golf club to help support yourself? You seem to be losing your nose. Let's glue it back on. And now it's time to attach the sign and the hand. Ta-da! 
I put my sculpture in front of the mosaic wall on the sidewalk in front of the building where I live, so everyone who passes by can see it and be reminded to vote. Where will you place your sculpture to share it with your neighborhood? Tune in every Friday for more DeYoungster Studio Live sessions from the DeYoung Museum's education team. This is Jill, senior teaching artist. Until next time.